one. Hey folks, happy Memorial Day weekend. I uh, want a big, big shout out to all our veterans out there who serve for our country and give us the freedom that we enjoy every single day. And today's a classic example of that, spending time out on the dock. You see our flags are flying and we're proud to be Americans. So uh, I hope you are too. Anyway, I uh, promised to give you a little rundown on our crawfish traps. Uh, we caught a few today. We caught about, I don't know, seven or eight crawfish. Just floating these off the dock. Uh, I'm going to run you through some different traps here. We don't claim to be experts. We're just showing you what we use. This is a trap that we uh, bought local here in Branson, Missouri. Branson West, actually. It's purchased from uh, Stream Outdoors over in Branson West. Nice little trap. It's got four entrances on either side. That's kind of what I like about this trap. It gives them it gives the crawfish easy access. It has a, a, a bait well in the center. You see that, baby? It's got a bait well in the center where uh, you can suspend the bait. We got a little bit of salmon, a little bit of tilapia, and some dog food in there, a little bit of everything. So uh, that, that's a nice trap, well made. Uh, we got some pretty big crawfish here on Table Rock, so I'm um, kind of quite don't know if the big ones can get in that one. But this trap here is from Craster. I think one of the best things I like about these traps, I like the paint that they have. And then they have this patented hinged door. The uh, law on, on Table Rock says that, uh, or I think in Missouri all across, that your opening can only be an inch and a half by 18 inches max on the trap. And that might limit some of these big long pinchered crawfish from getting in. And these have a hinged lid on them that allows them big old boys to get in the trap. Craster's got some really cool videos uh, that uh, show you GoPro footage of the uh, crawdads actually going in the trap. Another cool thing is they put a plate on the bottom that gives you weight. So if you have to throw the trap a little bit in a crick or something, uh, it gives it the weight to make sure it settles on the bottom properly. And I do like the fact that that one's on the bottom because that will keep the crawfish eating and they can actually get to the bait and it will help keep them in the trap. This one's called, I think this one's called the crick trap. It's a little smaller. And this is uh, two other, uh, I think they call this the lake trap. It's a little bit bigger, holds a few more crawfish. And you know, these big ones that we have here in, in Table Rock Lake, you can fill that trap up pretty dang quick. So having some capacity on these larger traps is a plus. Uh, one thing we have learned the hard way is uh, we're going to bigger floats. Uh, we were setting these on a rock bluff the other day and we had about 25 feet of line on here and this float wouldn't support the weight of that trap. And I thought we lost a $60 trap. Uh, luckily this thing was about a foot underwater. So we're gonna go with more of a, a boat dock uh, bumper style trap or, or float that could actually suspend the weight of that trap in case we happen to deploy it too steep of water. These are Mama T's, the camera woman's traps. Hi. Uh, I think she's got about $2 in each one of these things and they work badass too. Oops, did I say that? Sorry. But, um, so these were, the these were the first prototypes and uh, the tra the, these are made out of uh, little plant baskets on this one, I think. And just cut a little opening in the end. I think the, we did a little experiment where we left three or four crawfish in here and they could get back out. This diameter was a little too small and they could crawl back out. So uh, she uh, improved the design and went with dollar store trash cans and put a little lid on the flap on the end, kind of like the craster strap, so that once they get in, that kind of uh, inhibits them from getting back out. So anyway, that's kind of cool. That's the traps we run, and uh, just wanted to give you a quick rundown on that. So you guys have a great Memorial Day weekend, and I uh, hope you enjoy the great outdoors. Peace out.